We just arrived here in French Hook, which means the corner, the French corner. And um, this is where we're gonna stay for the next couple nights. So it's quite late and uh, we're still hungry, but we arrived nonetheless. And here you go, here's where we're staying. chalet style oops Hi. lights on yeah. look at the kitchen though it's beautiful i know so this is the first room so this can sleep this is to sleep two people and then it's the bathroom these comments so here we are upstairs it's such a cute it's all like a like a chalet style Here's the bathroom there. The girls are downstairs. The girls are downstairs? No, because these ones are double. Oh, I see. This one's double. Look at this. You can see downstairs from up here. So beautiful. Oh, so since it's so late, this is the only place we found that was open late. Right? At least we think. And it's a pizza place. So we're going to grab a pizza. And uh, apparently it says food so beautiful. Right behind us, this monument was put together from the French that were being persecuted. They wanted to basically have freedom of their religious beliefs, and they were Protestants. So they came here as, um, as an escape, if you will. And uh, the monument, the three arches rep represents the Holy Trinity, and then the star and the little cross above is their symbol. So this is kind of the, um, the iconic statue if you will of friendship so right now we're about to take their little tram or train whatever it is and there's different tours that you can choose from so we chose one with a few stops so a bit shorter stops because we still want to do the drive over the overpass so you can see it and um, you, you what you do is you get on and you get off so it's kind of like a hop on hop off system so we're almost about to go here and um, one sec she's gonna ring the bell here we go that means it's time to go 
orange. So, I said orange, but it's yellow. Okay, so here we go. So it's a hop on, hop up. So when you go, you have about an hour. Um, it includes, I think, a welcome drink, and then you, of course, can do wine testing and stuff. So let's go check it out. All right, so they're actually more like a little bus. Here we go. It's called the Franschuk Wine Tram. The tram. It's gonna be four stops, four hours basically for the day. But you are more than welcome to take two hours if you enjoy the place. Right now we're at Rickety Bridge. Let's go see this. So we're on a limited um, tour, like time-wise. So they do something. It's basically for two fifty or twenty. Two dollars and fifty cents, basically. <coughs> you get to try four different wines. They pre-select two whites, two reds. And it's very good. It reminds me of Switzerland. at the price list here so the average bottle of wine like a Sauvignon Blanc sells for about nine Canadian so about eight US dollars or so or a little less and like a Merlot goes for about ten US dollars so they've got reasonable pricing considering that they're um, you know like winery and estate winery so it's not like you're just buying like the local uh, cheap stuff at the store so it's good pricing this one's called pinotage they've cross-pollinated two different wines like uh pinot and the other one i'm not sure what it, the other one was at the university and so this is two more girls coming two more girls are coming they're just washing their hands next stop we're going to is grande provence you girls are running late. You guys almost missed your ride. Who's gonna leave? Quick, quick, quick! In you go. We're already late. For the next one. You're always on my mind. I'm by your side. No matter what. organized almost like a Swiss clock or a Swiss watch so by the time like tram comes then you get the tractor that arrives and everything's like just well organized so that it brings you from place to place and you've got about an hour in between each stop you can stop for more than an hour but it just makes your tour longer so it's good though.
so this winery that we just visited, Grande Provence, it's actually in the top 100 wineries in all of the world. So it's a heritage wine estate, it says too. So, and it's from 1694. So quite an old one. Girls, is, is he coming towards you? Is it a he or a she? Do you guys know? So this ostrich doesn't have teeth, so it just swallows it down. So the tour, um, the way it works is you take the little train tram, then you switch over to a bus, and then you have actually four stops at four different wineries. So we're now at a winery and the gentleman who owns it, it used to be his great grandfather's. Is that right? Or is it great great grandfather's? I think great grandfather's. I think great grandfather's. So still dates back to quite a few years. And uh, he was telling us that basically the French Protestants, they first went to uh, the Netherlands, then they became like either Dutch or that nationality, then they came here to South Africa. So that's kind of like their history of how it went. This is the end of our journey. Literally in less than 24 hours, we are heading back to the continent of Europe. We had a lovely stay. It's been amazing. We've seen some amazing things. Um, and I would say definitely this uh, trip has been life-changing. In what regards has it been life-changing for you, Julia? Um, to see how they live here, I guess. Yeah. The differences, I guess, between the way people live around the world? Mm -hmm. And what were some of the shocking things? Like in Malawi, with no electricity, or like, like how they have to live in their little homes. Or so this um, place is called Dieu Donné, which is God given. And um, I think it probably has the best view of the whole valley and the, um, the area here. So here we are, we are going to go into Mont Rochelle. This is a view right here from Richard Branson's vineyards here in South Africa and it's called La Rochelle or Mont Rochelle, sorry La Rochelle's in France, it's called Mont Rochelle. Where we're staying is beautiful and it's always amazing when you have your own kitchen and just your own space and everything like that so we didn't stay much in the house although tonight we're going to enjoy a nice home cooked meal, our last one here in South Africa where we take the plane tomorrow and uh, it's just lovely though we really really enjoyed it it's quiet when you're inside the house so like you sleep in so this morning we slept until like 8 30 which is amazing Mm-hmm.